Hello everyone, I'm Coyote Jack and Oh my god Snowbreak You got fucked pretty badly So let's start with this Snowbreak announced this shit So notice of adjustment to certain operators and outfits hello adjustments it, it is with great regret that we inform you that due to the fa due to factors beyond our control, we'll be adjusting to the sign or ceasing to sell of certain operators and outfits in order to ensure that the snowbird experience on both mainland China and global servers is the same. These changes will take effect on all servers. And I saw one. I really wanted to try this game only for that character with the North skin and her interaction, which they are just removing it for new players. And it is mentioned here. And what pisses me off is they're going full form on this. If, you're, if you have already purchased the outfit, piece of better remedy, you will no longer be able to purchase the interactive sim, Tender Cure. At that specific date, Tender Cure. That, that, that was uh, when I searched for that, because I, that piqued my interest. It, um, my interest, excuse me. I was just like, well, the snowbreak is heading to a good path, but they got fucked over by China. And I point out that the main culprit in all of this is the fucking Hoyoverse Bangkok. These fucking Hoyoverse pieces of shit. Not the company. Western Bangkok. They, they, they didn't like the success of, of Snowbreak, so they reported it to the government. Bitching a bitching, and they found some BS to remove this content. And funny enough, all of this because they were uh, rated teen and they decided to change the tag to 18 plus. They want to go full and beyond. But to be honest, it's difficult to trust them when this shit is even mentioned in this statement. So moving on. The season cell will not impact your ownership of the or use of the outfits if you have already purchased them, nor it will impact the related covers or avatars unlocked upon purchase. At this point, they're just giving people the advice that probably you want this, grab it, and you you can mod it because they they show that you can mod the game. I'm just impressed with that. And even I saw some people doing some custom animation. If you ask me, with you know the cultured content, doing the assets there of Snowbreak, and you know what? I was impressed. And you know what? I wanted to try this game, but with this shit, well, I, I said it for today. For, uh, let's continue. So they continue on with the operators that are going to be censored and they are not going to sell, sell those skins anymore. And that your ownership will not be affected. Uh, here is the sign drawn subject to change. Please refer to the in game effects for the final design. design. The appearance of some of his own selling choice products will be adjusted, including 2D illustration and 3D model. So, yeah, they are just censoring at that point. But they say that pro the new stuff that is going to come out, they are not going to censor that. And they are even going far and beyond. But honestly, I have really doubts about that. Continue on. Mm hmm. Here is. Mm, we sincerely apologize for any inconvenience this adjustment may cause. After the update, we will issue a special commemorative altar and a sticky pack, Fanny Lion Dance, for free to all adjustments via in game mail. Please log into the game and claim it in time. Furthermore, as token of our appreciation for all of your support and encouragement for the office, we have another gift. Yeah, another gift. Oh man. I think it's not mentioned here. Oh man. Uh they I, I say they were both versions. I think I skipped that. No, it's not referring to this. Uh, uh excuse me. My bad. I am really stupid that I already read that to you. Because, yeah, this is the part that I should have learned at the start. So, 
we will be adjusting to design our season to sell off certain operatives and outfits in order to ensure that the Snogure experience on both mainland China and global service is the same. That's how all of this unfolds. This is how everything got fucked up. You can probably trust them that yeah, the CEO remaining based. They shattered people's trust with this one. They not like because they are saying we are censoring all and removing all of what you pay for, which with that game they are just done. They are dead. But they announced that they are in a Vegeta tape state waiting for being disconnected from the live support because no break fuck it up in not releasing two types of versions because even when Mihoyo they released two types, one for China which is even more censored than the Western one. Funny how that works. So if a country bitch about it, they are going to censor for both for everyone, including China. Even when China are okay with that. Could not that country. Or vice versa. China starts to bitch again. Uh, CCP get their own this wet and they just go again and censor. They, it's no break. Fuck it up here. Just like with, just like I mentioned, Blue Archive, despite that the English version is currently a butchered one, you still have the Japanese one, which is in current day content. And on top of that, it's not censored. <sighs> this is the case, uh, a case that, yeah, people's trust is just done. They are, they are done with this game. The, the FOMO is just like a salt to the injury. The main wound got, got made by this one. That they are using one version for everyone. And with that comes globalism, BS. This is not good for Snowbreak. Probably they are just going to be... They, they're even pulling another project. And I have to say... I don't know how people will react. At this point, let Snowbreak to die. If, they are, if you start seeing the pattern of people not sticking to it because they are not trusting you anymore. And which it shows. Even people are not like completely insulting them, but sure they are showing that they are they are dropping their support. John Gensha. I enjoyed my time, but I guess I'll find something else. I like you you guys because you did what you wanted and knew who your audience was. I question how Azure Link can get away with separate region versions, but others can't see them too. No, it is just because oh man, it's no break diet once. And they die twice. That is not a pun of Sekiro. They, oh man, they, they, they really did this bad. I, I, and it all started, you know, if you see the background of Snowbreak, all this shit show started because they did again originally to appeal into a wider audience. They listed to fucking Westerners. This fucking consultancy on China with globalist Occidentalization, uh, well, I know I use that word incorrectly. It's just Western virus. Bit, bit trying to be spread in the host that is the Chinese Communist Party. It's no break south uh, the symptoms in an already uh, advanced state and they turn around and save it themselves. They fired it. Everyone with the globalist shit show standards. And on top of that, they went far and beyond. But they got fucked over by the Chinese go Communist Party because they only released one version instead of releasing it two. They should have done that even doing, you know what? Dedicate some time to release two versions. And you say, you know, two those versions are the same. But they are just two versions. Two versions of the same. Find a legal loophole on that. Make your will. 
and probably they will have a reputation right now. And I have to say, it's not like they cut the, because to the Western mindset. They they prove it. They hate that, and they, that's what they did to change it. It's just the CCP antics. They they got fucked them over, and there is that one version for everyone. And the globalist so-called chess games start, and you know how it always ends. It's it's the same path of no return. And to be honest, I really feel sad for this game. And I really wanted to try it, but I don't trust it for my time. Because I we, I, I already got fucked over by many gachas and many video games at this point that I don't want to tolerate another backstab. And it's not even like they are just backstabbing me. It's that they force it a snow break to sink that knife. They got forced, and it shows. Looking at the context, ah man, and look, even there is the defense here. So the CEO is even saying, "You know what? This is the next custom we want to do, and it's going to be even more skimpier." Probably it's no break. They could save themselves now that they change the eighteen plus tag. But again, I have to remind people, one version for everyone, and globalism plays the board game. Plays in check. Ah, oh, man. But, uh, but if they go, make, they make the same content again, and even go far and beyond to replace the lost stuff, they could regain that trust, but they need to start producing. Right now, they died again. And they need to get back in track. And that's the situation I wanted to report with Snowbreak. And to be honest, I am a, I'm a little sad. Even I have to... I was interested. I not show you the main post of that, but I want to show you this. I, I was like, well, uh, that character reminds me of... One, uh, well, to be honest, uh, I, I really like seeing this type of character that reminds me of Roberta from Black Lagoon. But no, no, not with a murder and scene, but with a sincere and gentle type, if you know what I mean. This is sad, they, this is so, so sad for Snowbreak. And let's see how the situation falls, because probably, you could say that I'm jumping to conclusions. Well, I, at this point, I'm just going to wait and see. It's the best course of action. That's all I wanted to share with you here. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a pretty good day.